Hello Pisces, this is a love reading for you guys for the remainder of the month. That was the star that I saw there, Three of Swords, Page of Swords, hmm. soulmate energy here, some heartache attached to it. Let's see, Pisces, what messages do we have for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know for the 23rd through the 31st of July, Pisces? We have a Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups has been coming up. I'm trying to think what reading that was, but this is like being confused about what it is that you want. Um, being unsure. Having a lot of things that are in front of you and not, you know, being positive about what's going to make you happy then we have a queen of swords there hmm. Libra Aquarius Gemini energy trying to figure it out but it's like I want to know the facts in this situation I don't I don't want things to be hazy I don't want things to be like brushed over or you know it's like you want to know what the deal is. You don't want no. You don't want people trying to feed you bullshit. Is what I'm getting. Looking at things for what they really are. Then we have a King of Swords there at the center of your reading. Hmm. Again, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. You guys are a couple for sure. But I feel like, you know, they are a true air sign or they have strong air in their chart. You, on the other hand, are a water sign. So very emotional, very um, in touch with your emotions. And I feel like at this point, you're kind of feeling like um, you've kind of let your emotions, you know, get the best of you depending on you know the situation like if the person was um you know being a certain way towards you then you responded you know on a very emotional level and not so much as thinking about realistic things that were happening or going on and what you should do about it so I feel now that you're trying to take a different approach to a situation with this person. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Hmm. It could definitely be somebody else that is involved in this situation because we did see the Three of Swords. I did anyway. I don't know if you guys did as I was shuffling. Um, I did see the Three of Swords and there was some heartache attached to this soulmate and it could definitely be a situation where there's another person involved. I feel like there is another person involved. You guys are probably privy to that information. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have the two of coins there, Capricorn energy. Hmm. This could definitely be you as well, this Queen of Cups energy, because you're really trying to think about what you want logically, realistically. You know, see the facts in the situation. And this King of Swords is at the center of your reading. So this person is very important to you. The Queen of Cups is emotional towards the things that she deems as priority in her life. But this is like deciding what makes you happy. What truly makes you happy. Two of Coins is stability. Okay? Then we have a Knight of Coins there. The Knight of Coins is, I mean, it's, a, it's the best night if you were going to have a night. But this is more about the energy of, of planning more so than a person. 
um, thinking about what it is that you truly want, getting your head out of the clouds, looking at things for what they really are and not through rose colored glasses. And then approaching those things in a very um, studious, methodical way so that you can achieve and have the things that you want. And I feel like, you know, this is where you are ending up towards the end of the month. Okay? Putting your heart into things that really um, mean something to you, that are important to you. <clears throat> okay? And there's that emperor. That's that um, Aries energy. And this is your energy. This is, you know, being in control of your life. Being like the initiator of of what you want to happen okay having control over your situation and not allowing someone else to have control over you and how you feel okay so this is a very strong message for you guys here hmm. let's see what's going on with this king of swords queen of coins Hmm. For some of you where there is um, another person, this is probably a person that has a legal relationship with this King of Swords, a wife. Okay. Um, for some of you, if you already know, if you're privy to this information about there being a third person person there is a wife or a husband involved for this person it could definitely be something that is just on paper but there yeah there's a situation here okay could be more than one person one other person actually now for those of you who this is just you transitioning um and doing the things that you feel like are going to make you happy. This is all about you being, you embodying that masculine and feminine energy. That energy that it takes to make the right decisions for you. Whether it's in life and love, what have you. This is that empress energy. We see the emperor is already here. But this right here is that empress energy. Okay. Now, you guys are at this point where you don't need anybody, okay? And I felt like before, you kind of felt like you needed to be with this person. I think now you're realizing that you don't need to be with this person or you don't need anyone to make you feel whole. You are whole. And you are feeling that. That King of Swords is still very important to you. But I feel like this King of Swords has an attachment. Already. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have the Nine of Cups. This is doing what makes you happy. Nines are single energy. By yourself. Being selfish, looking after you, okay? Then we have the Five of Cups here. But just because you are doing what you need to do for you does not mean, and being selfish, doesn't mean that you're hurting anyone by being selfish. So do not have any regrets about doing the things that you feel are necessary for um, your progression. Okay, because I feel like you've given a lot of yourself before. You put yourselves on the back burner even for someone else. And I, I feel towards the end of the month, you're moving in a direction that's more beneficial for you and putting yourselves first. Okay, so this is Scorpio energy. Um, this is your energy here with the Nine of Cups and Capricorn energy. I think I told you about the rest of the signs that I see present. This is Taurus energy over here. Okay, guys, so that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.